Tennis superstar Novak Djokovic is officially out of the US Open. Novak Djokovic has come out and he has announced that he will not be playing the US Open. Sasha Zverev has withdrawn from this year's US Open. Serena Williams, she is announcing her retirement from tennis after the US Open, obviously her home tournament. I think that her legacy is really wide to the point where you can't even describe it in words. I think I'm a product of what she's done. I wouldn't be here without um, Serena Venus. I'm like very thankful to her. A lot of other players in the field you know, have the belief, like, I can do that too. I think what we achieve shows that, you know, anything can happen, really. It's time! First thing I did when I got home from work is I changed to the Rafa hat, the Rafa top. Emma Raducanu. And she's just beaten Serena Williams and Azarenka. This is the biggest talking point. Nick Kyrgios on the same section as Daniel Medvedev. Who do you think is going to win the US Open this year? He answered Carlos Alcaraz. I mean, it's still the young gun. Rafa has got a nice draw. I'm a massive Layla fan. Garcia is incredible. I put a bet on Garcia to win the US Open. Rafa Nadal is going to win the US Open this year. Rafa Nadal comes back from the depths yet again. We've both gone for the same guy. I've got Linda, you've got Linda. It's Serena Williams! One of the biggest matches in US Open history, JG! Let's be honest, she's the greatest of all time. It's into the net! Serena takes the first set! Come on! She's got it! Yes! Come on! Serena Williams will play another singles match. She blew me away. I was surprised. The greatest of all time. Yeah. Turned up. Nadal has to be considered a favorite. Wrap up at 23. Let's go, Ben. Come on. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Game to Love. Today we are covering Azarenka Martich. Now, I'm going to ask you, is my sound okay? Because I, like, was having some issues with my AirPods. So just want to check that everyone can hear me. So comment if you can, and then we will get started. All right, Azarenka's over here with two point lead. So I'm happy about that. Let me, okay, I think that I'm okay with the, with the sound, but let me know. And, okay, we have a few points underway, but anyone want to share their predictions? Okay, I am so excited about this one. I'm going to go as rank in two because that's what I'm just hoping to put out in the universe. She is my all-time favorite, and I really want to see her win. I said if it couldn't be Serena, then I want Azarenka. And Serena, unfortunately, yesterday was probably her last match ever professionally, and it's just an end of an era. Um, so if she cannot win it, then... I'm hoping that my girl, Abika, can. Hello. Hello, Diego. So what is my name? My name is Nicolette. Nice to meet you. I thought it shows up on here. Does it not? Um, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Daz. I totally agree. I really hope. Um, and she's off to a good start. 40-15, she's serving for a which is nice. So, oh, and thank you for the like. I went to the US Open yesterday and saw her in doubles. She was playing mixed doubles with Thanasi Kokonakis. And I, like, they looked pretty solid out there, but they lost into, it was 7-5, 7-5 against McNally. And um, William Bloomberg, I think that's what his name is. I did not... Um, I did not recognize him, but they were really, really good. They actually surprised me, um, McNally and Bloomberg, because they were really solid doubles players. But I thought that Vika looked good. And um, and I have hope. Hello, Daria. I believe in Vika. Yes. It's her time to shine again. And I think she's been to 
has she been in um three US Open finals or two? Because um she has not won one yet, but she's been really close. And when's Megan on? I don't know actually, but keep watching and I'm sure she'll pop up sometime. My match just went out. So having some technical difficulties. Give me one sec. Um, hi, Sean. Nice to see you again. Oh my gosh. I think my internet just went out oh, on my iPad. Okay, we're back. Sean, what is your prediction for this match? We have Azarenka up one game. Oh my gosh. And you can see on the court, they're in Louis Armstrong right now. The sun is like cut in half of the court and that makes it really hard to see. I think give it like 45 minutes and the sun might be, it might be shaded, which I think they need. You guys can all hear me, right? Because I'm AirPod issue. Capo coming in. Yes, I saw like the last two sets and Kvitova, she did not give up. It really could have gone either way. That was a really good one. Who I think whoever wins this. Let me look at the draw again because I just had it up. 15 all. Oh. Okay. And we have Martic, Petra Martic from Croatia. I don't know if I mentioned that. Where you guys are, you know. Okay, Sean with Azarenka, I guess. Yes. Like I was just saying, I think it's her time to shine again. And I saw a bit, I saw the highlights of Martic's last match um, with Bedosa. And it, she surprised me because I wasn't familiar with her either. Um, so... I don't want to be too confident in Vika right here. Like, I don't want to jinx her. So, I am just keeping it cautiously optimistic. All right, sorry. I'm trying to get the draw up to see because I just forget the name. So, Kvitova will play the winner of the Pagula Yuan match they're playing right now okay whoever wins this will play either Pliskova Carolina Pliskova or um, Belinda Benchay I always get Kvitova mixed up with the um, Pliskova or with those twins because they all look alike to me like they're all like tall blondish brown hair and like I just like the three of them I cannot something like it is difficult for me to tell them apart our 30 all Martich serve so let's see who do you guys have for winning winning everything women's let's say now that Serena is out like that is just so crazy to me because she's just she's just been there like she's it's just Serena like it's the end of an absolute era like I it's gonna be weird not having her around it already has been kind of weird that she hasn't been like dominating like she used to but now just not having her there it is so sad deuce, deuce. and I saw we could just head into the net They are in, okay, Daria. Vika played the final in 2012, 2013, and 2020. And I believe 2012 and 2013 is when she won the Australian Open. And then 2020, oh my gosh, I think I said this in another stream, but like that, when she played the final in 2020, I was like, 
Like I was like, this is her comeback. Like she had just won Cincinnati, I think. And leading up to the US Open and I was like, our girl is back. And then she lost to Osaka and like I was in tears. Yeah, I was so, so upset. And it would have been so historic because she was a mom. So it been like the first mom to win singles grand slam. But she, I have, I have faith that she will come back. Oh, it's her ad right now. Oh, possibly going to put my hand on the break button. Not to get ahead of myself. But... Okay. Ooh, that return was too good. Vika. Okay, we're off to a great start. I am so happy. Where is everyone tuning in from? I'm in Pennsylvania. So it actually looks kind of cloudy here and there. It looks super sunny, but kind of the same. And I'm on the same time zone, which is just the best. Rachel, go Vika. Yes. Okay. Also, yesterday when she was playing doubles and I literally was there, we went early because I was like, with my mom and I was like, we, well, I was like, this is the match that I really, really care about seeing yesterday. I was like, we are getting like front row seats. Like I am going there an hour before. So we went, we watched another doubles match before and on the bleachers, there's like player, coach, guest reserved. I sat right next to there. And so her and Koki Nasus, his coaches were like sitting down. I didn't know which one was which, but there was this Australian guy. I think it was the Nazi's coach. And he was like, he kept calling her Vika. And I was like, hold on. Have I been saying Vika wrong? Do people say Vic? I think it's Vika. I think she said it's Vika. But maybe just with his, his Australian accent, it was like Vika. Just, it's just different with different accents. Like, I just say it the American way, maybe. But let me know. Like, is it Vika or Vika? But I just, after that, I like did not say her name. <laughs> I was just, I just did general like cheers. Daria, she is very talented and plays smart and intelligent tennis. And that's why she should come back. Totally. She is solid. Like she's smart. She's solid. She is talented. She's mature. Like she's everything. Right, her third now, and was that a let or was that out? I don't know if it touched the net. I don't know if it popped in or not. And like, it is just so crazy. If you have not been to, um, if you like love watching tennis and you have the opportunity to go to either a Grand Slam or just any tennis tournament, like it just like brings the game to life. It is so fun to see your favorite players or honestly any player that you've seen on TV or like um that you've watched like literally she was two feet away from me it was insane and just all these other players like it is it is so fun to, if you have the opportunity like you definitely have to go oh because into the night oh my gosh but she does get broken back i love 30 because sir right come on ace her she was serving really well yesterday during doubles, though, I do have to say. But the pair that they played against, um, I believe that Katie or Caddy, I don't know how she says that. I just know McNally. Um, I think she's has a few titles with Coco Golf. Like she's usually Coco Golf's partner in doubles. Um, and I've seen her name a bunch with doubles. All right, they're showing Vika's coach. I think he was there yesterday. No, it's love 40. Oh my God. This is why this ten tennis can switch on an instant. Yikes. I don't think we have a Martich button. Let me see you guys. Okay, we don't. We just have the Azarenka button, so I'll try to be fair. <laughs> News both. 
come on. The court is like, oh, darn it. Oh, my worst fears come true. She has been broken. <laughs> But I feel like it's just like, let them both warm up kind of. And it's all right. She still leads one. Aw. Let's go, Vika. Lots of love. Hello. Thank you for joining. I know. I think she is. Actually, I don't know. I can't really tell if she's the favorite in this match. But yesterday in doubles, I'd say it was pretty mixed because most people, I mean, it is the U S open. They'll cheer for the Americans. Um, if, not, if they're Americans playing. Um, but I feel like there was a bunch of people that were, that were on her side yesterday, which was nice. I think Trey will be super yes and can I just say so I watched his match against um Karen Kochnov and I watched like the first two two and a half sets it was in was it in grandstand it was the first match when I got to us open that I sat down and watched and the crowd was like so overwhelmingly for Jack Draper and it was like me, this one woman and her like actually six-year-old son in front of us. And like one other guy, literally it felt like in the stadium besides his coaches and stuff that was rooting for Karen or Cotton. And it was like, people were, it was more like a second set of like round what? Two, three, and people were on their feet for Jack Draper. And then of course, I left and um, I'm like walking around just going to another match and we see on the screen one of the screens that they have like completed matches on all over the um, the place and it was like I think that Draper had won the, did he win the third set or he was winning the third set and then we're like how did he lose and then we saw that he retired so of course we literally left right before then and I didn't really know what happened but I assumed it was an injury and yes it looked like it was he had done something to his leg but people loved him loved him Bika for life I am with you there like I think I have been like over 10 years strong with her just being like my absolute favorite and she just is a bit it's me okay well she just missed that one that was actually a really good a really good shot by Martich. Okay, Petra, we're you're giving us a fight. I'm okay with that. Mm. 30 love, Martich serve. That one goes into the net. Mm. Ah, Vika into the net, girl. next round I thought that it was going to be someone else okay so Sabalenka could meet Sa winner of Sabalenka next match plays either Cornette or Collins and then the winner of that will play um Vika if she wins this round and next that will be interesting they played before right is that like a Belarusian too wait why am I I think she might be yes she is she is from Belarus too all right, Vika serve. It's two all. Okay, we need to bring it back, girl. We had a good start. Now you're warmed up. Now just give it everything you got. Oh, that volley was too good. Too good from Petra. <laughs> I'm nervous. And 
And then there was the whole like last, which I don't know, I guess, I don't know, not till I get into it, but it was just interesting to see about the whole handshake thing where um, Azarenka's last match against Marta Kostyuk, um, Kostyuk like refused to shake hands with her because she's from Ukraine and Azarenka is from Belarus. And it is just interesting. I mean, yeah, I think Azarenka took, was gracious and she was like, listen, I understand. So, you know, it's just, I always shake hands with the person, but you know, to each their own and she didn't really make a big deal out of it. I thought that was good or just gracious as gracious, gracious as she could be. So who is my favorite player? So my favorite men's player of all time is Novak Djokovic. We have the same initials like ND. ND. So that's why I like, I started liking him like a hundred years ago and Victoria Zarenka. So um, that those are mine. What about you, Daz? Who played in pairs? Uh, Azarenka and Sabalenka? Did they play doubles together? I might have missed that. And then I'm waiting for her to ace. I thought her serves were pretty solid yesterday. Did she just? Okay, good, 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 good. She just won that game. <gasps> I looked away for one second. All right, our girl is coming back. Sorry. Has a record. And yeah, I mean, she looked solid yesterday, but doubles is just such a different type of game entirely. Like it's just different, I think. So I wasn't too worried that she lost that yesterday, but oh, okay. So Azarenka and Sabalenka have played doubles. Do you mean for US Open? Like they're in women's doubles together? Oh my God, I don't think I even realized that. see her matches let me know I don't know so I'm gonna assume you are from England <laughs> so okay Murray and Emma and then favorite of all time is Nadal I do love Nadal too like I am not one of those people that's like I love Djokovic so I have to not like Nadal or Federer or like I literally love them all just Djokovic is my is my heart so I like him more <laughs> but I do really like Nadal too and Murray is just in my dream world like I said before because Novak is not here heartbreak for this year's open I wanted Murray to win like I just that was just my wishful thing that was my dream because I just want to see him he's like climbing his way back like I love him um, and then I do like Emma. Obviously, she's only been around for a few, but I think she's very sweet and mature. But I'd like to see her just go, oh, yes, down the line, Vika. Um, wanted to see her go a bit further in the U.S. Open this year, but I think she's good. She, like she said herself, she's like, um. I think she fell to like 80 maybe in the ranking. She's like, I'll just climb my way back up. Okay. More to serve. She's at love 30. Into the net. That net just gets, just gets in the way sometimes. <laughs> that was a joke. Okay, it's very hard to see when the sun is like on the court and half the court is shaded like literally yesterday there was um the sun was going down it was like going down behind ash and ash has like all these like beams and pipes whatever outside of it so the sun was coming through that and it was just making like weird shadows on the court 
And at one point, as Ranka was like, I can't see. And I was so furious at the sun that day. I was just like, can you just say? I was furious. Okay. And Love 40, Markich. Okay, as Ranka. You're on a mission to break this woman. Nice backhand from Azarenka. Backhand from Markic. All right, let's oh, Bika into the net. It's all right. She's got she's got two more chances to break. Is anyone keeping tabs on the um is Shapo playing right now? Yeah, Shapo and Rublev. Oh, I was so mad when I saw that they were playing because I was there yesterday and I was like Wish I would have got tickets for today as well. Because I would have loved to see that. Rubika made that too good. She got there, but why did she put that away? 30 40. All right, they're tied on unforced errors. As I got up a bit on the winners like to see oh jeez oh my god my deuce the Hawkeye's a little little bit confusing when you're like there because I think I heard that um, the umpires or something like, or there's a recording of fault or out that just is played. So you think that someone's screaming it, but you're like, like I was sitting there and I was like, who is screaming that? And it was no one. It was like the umpire has a recording that I guess it just automatically goes off. There's some sensors or something, the whole Hawkeye thing. So it was interesting. And then, oh my God, it is a little bit awkward, like at when you're there in person, like because people will really, really like cheer sometimes if someone double faults or someone hits it out. And it's like, you never want to. I'm like, of course, I'm cheering in my head if that happens. And it's like against the player that I want to win or something. But it's kind of sad. All people are like screaming when they double fault. I'm like, mm -hmm people let's not rub it in okay Vika or she can approach and hit the nice deep forehand another nice deep forehand shoot that might have been out that might have been out I think we're back to deuce yes Gary thank you for joining oh my gosh it was so good I saw Azarenka, like I was just saying, and she played double. She lost. But like it was, it's just amazing to to be there. It's like the crowd was electric, and everyone's back. I think from COVID, so it was definitely great. Oh, Alcaraz, Brooksby, they're playing now. I was just wondering about Shapo Rublev, so I'll have to look at that one too. But nice to see you, Gary. Let me see. Um, let me see what's going on. Oh, Brooksby Alcra has just started or is starting. They're warming up. It looks like Rublev um, is in the lead. That just started like 45 minutes ago. Okay. All right, Vika, let's go. She has the ad again. Yes. yes. She gets it. It is. We're cautiously optimistic, though. Does anyone want Martich over here? I mean, good. If you do, she seems like a great player, but it's got to root for my girl. And she... Oh, my gosh, sorry. I have to go back. And she just 
broke again. Victoria. She knows how to play As a record She's gonna make it her day Also, oh my gosh, yesterday So I'm eating lunch with my mom And she goes, oh my god, turn around There's a guy walking around with a free Novak shirt on I was laughing I ran up to him and I'm like, hi sir I love your shirt, can I take a picture of it? So he let me take a picture of it. Um, and I was like, can I post this to like, my tennis Instagram? So I posted it to my story. I'll show you. I'll, I'll like not have his face in it. But <laughs> he wore the free Novak shirt. I was dying. Um, so we had another Djokovic ally at the Open yesterday. And I like put that on my story. I tagged Novak. I tagged his coach. I tagged Uli, his, phys- his physio guy. I tagged the freaking Noah Djokovic Foundation and Yelena. And I was like, someone see this, but no one has seen it. But that was fun to see. Um, And it was like super, super crowded, which I was actually kind of surprised to see, but I did not go last year. And I think that it was, people might've been a little hesitant to go out again and probably wearing masks and all that. But like, I really did not see a lot of masks yesterday and it was like super crowded and it was just like great to have everyone back so it was nice all right Vika up 30 love oh yes Ayla Tomlanovic played once in a lifetime magical masculine it was that's awesome so I actually I had the grounds admissions uh, tickets and you are able to enter Louis Armstrong, Grandstand, like all the stadiums except for Arthur Ashe. So I could not, that was like the one stadium I couldn't get into. And when I tell you, like, you are anywhere on the ground and you can hear, you could hear like the screams and the cheers of the Serena match from the stadium. Like I was sitting in one stadium and you could see it from there and it was like we just kept hearing we would hear a scream or cheers and I'd look on my phone and like Serena had just scored so I think she so I watched a little bit of the highlights and yeah I think she's like super gracious and you know she played a great match and that was it's it's crazy now I kind of want her as rank I can't win then I would like to see Tomlanovich win um, everything because I think she's been doing super well. But it is very um, historic. Okay, they're in the break. And Gary, has anyone seen Novak congratulate Serena on social media yet? If not, I think that I saw him. When she had first announced maybe her retirement, he put something out because I know his daughter like loves her and her his daughter loves Venus. So I definitely think that he did something, a story at least, when she had first announced that she would be retiring after the US Open. But um, as I'm checking now, no, I don't see anything congratulating her or mentioning her on her last match which is interesting right has Nadal or anyone I wonder let me check now all right Martich back on serve she serving two five let me look Oh, yes. Nadal put up a really cute story. Thanks, Serena Williams, for everything you've done for our sport. Amazing champion. And he put up this little, like, thing of all her. Oh, sorry. Oh, I guess you can't see my phone, but of all her titles. Oh, it's so crazy. Like, just not seeing her anymore is just going to be very weird. I hate change. This is change. I will. I will. I will. 
and you saying Federer did a lengthy video. That is so great to see. Like, I feel like they're all in it together. They're, it's like the big three, four, and then Serena. They have been just like, I feel like they've all been once in a lifetime, like athletes and champions for the sport and have just done so much for it. Great to see. All right, Novak, you need to do something. All right, 15 all. Petra is serving. Okay. Into the net. Sorry, my mic was muted. That took out my airpod for a second. But yes, I said thank you, Serena. Oh, it's crazy. Again, I don't like change. So it's just going to be weird not to see her around. 30-15, Martic. And we have good luck. Yes. Hello, Alex. I feel like I recognize you or that name maybe. Um, I am from Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia. Well, now I live in Philadelphia. But right now, I'm at my parents' house, which is outside of Philadelphia. Um, and I have probably been following tennis. I've been playing since I was like elementary school age and then probably started seriously watching it and enjoying following everyone. Um, probably like middle school, maybe like eighth grade, ninth grade. So when I got to high school, um, our tennis team would take a trip to the U S open every year. And so my first time there was, I guess when I was like 14 or 15 and it was like such a great experience and got me just so excited to like keep watching and keep following all these people because, you know, you meet them in person. It's like, they sign your hat, they sign a ball, like they take pictures with you. And it was like this sport come to life. So I have kind of been watching and gathering my favorites and stuff ever since so yes and Vika is definitely my favorite women's player she has been from the very beginning love her so I like to see that she is kind of on her comeback and I'm hoping she can pull out a W in the final we'll just take it one step at a time not to get ahead of myself all right it's deuce I think yes See if she can break again. This will be the game of breaks. Oh my gosh. So has Roger literally not played anything this year? I think that he hasn't, but I actually just sitting here thinking about it. I'm not sure. He's supposed to play Labor Cup, which is like, obviously not, it's kind of more like a fun, is it a charity kind of tournament or just kind of for fun, not for points and stuff or not technically on the tour. Um, but I kind of, I miss him too. So... No. Hello. Oh, you picked Marches for the win? Let's see. Let's see who wins. Oh. So Marchich is 31, as rank is 33. Just so they're kind of the same wavelength there, I guess. But I think she's been playing well. Azarenka. I think that um I think that she could actually in like two rounds if they both win. I was just looking at the draw. Um 
if Vika wins this, she'll play the winner of um, Pliskova and oh my gosh, I forget the way that I literally I said this like two seconds ago. Sometimes my memory is like actually um, concerning me. So it's a little interesting. All right, Vika with the just try this. She should have just smashed it down. Why did she do that? Oh, she's mad at herself. It's all right. Love 15. Um, Oh, out. 15 all. Oh. I just was speaking about this because of Azarenka's last match and how Kostyev did not shake hands with her. But, I mean, like, I think Azarenka was gracious about it and she was like, listen, you know, things are going on in the world. Like I just always shake hands with whoever I play with. Um, so I'm oh, nice for Vika, but get you put it away. Yes. Yes. 30, 15. Um, but yeah, I just think that, I don't know if, I mean, it, it made the news. So if that was Maybe Kostyuk from Ukraine, you know, it'll make the news. It'll get people talking about, you know, everything going on. It brings awareness. So um, I do think that it's a little odd that the U.S. Open, like, they won't even say, like, next to Azarenka's name, next to March's name, it says Croatia. Next to Azarenka's doesn't say anything, and they don't show the, their flags, which I guess is just... I mean, I kind of wonder, like, really, like, why are you kind of, like, punishing the individual players that obviously are just playing tennis, but maybe it gets the whole world talking. I don't know. But it's a sad situation, honestly, and it obviously is affecting, you know, everything. But I kind of feel like, all right, let's just... I don't know, I feel like let's have tennis be tennis on one hand, and then it's you know, obviously it's their home, something's happening. So I don't know. It's a difficult situation to wrap your mind around. Okay, come on, we go with the drop. <gasps> Almost. Almost. But yeah, I, I mean, it was a little like, you know, it's not like Victoria as a herself is over here doing anything like so just, just, yeah. All right. Be on serve again. Let's see what's going on with, oh wait, oh, the Kyrgios defeated Wolf last night. I was at, I was there for two, um, two of those sets and it was crazy. Like Kyrgios always entertains and, I really go back and forth between my opinion of him, but I've been liking him lately. Um, 40 all. Zeus. Dang, Vika, you've had that lead. Oh my gosh, Gary. No, I did not see. Where is that?
did he put did he put something out? Let me Google it. Is it your girl Megan? I hope it is. I didn't check. Has that um how has that match started? Yes, Daria. I do that that really is my opinion too, to be completely honest. Like, but I do again, like I said. You know, maybe she just wanted, but you never know until you're in that situation. You know, I guess um, Marta Kostiak was just like, maybe her goal was to get articles written about it and, you know, to bring awareness to everything. So in that case, she had to do that. Um, but yeah, I kind of think it's just, sometimes it's nice to just watch sports and it's just, it's just that, it's just a tennis match. It's just play tennis. All right, Bika takes the first set. Hey, six three. Yes, okay. Megan is covering Brooksy Alcaraz. That should be a good one. And then Rublev and Chapel are on right now as well. I still think it is. Yes, I do. I do definitely agree with that. Like I, I, um, it's just, it's like a weird, crazy situation. Um, but it's like, Tom, sometimes we just watch sports cause we just, we want to see that and not the outside noise of like the entire world, just sit and watch the match and do everything. So I, I agree. Um, who is doing rock later? I would assume it's going to be, um, I would assume it's going to be Ben and JG, but I do not know who's doing that. Uh, um, the the chapel match is that David? I'm gonna check. I'm interested to see who wins that. All right, they're having a little cool down. Vika takes the first set. Yes, I do. Oh, it's not, I do not know. I don't think I've ever met Haman. He's doing the shop of Olive and Rublev. Um, I think so. If this ends before, then I want to catch that with him because I do want to see that match or at least watch the replay of it. Um, yes, I do. I do think it's just like, it's just a matter of respect. Like it's the individual. I mean, it's not like, she, you know, she's just your opponent playing tennis is just respectful at the end of the day. All right, second set, here we go. Martich is serving, love 15. Aww. Yes, I, I do think they are um, close and he's, I think they've said kind words about each other. And I know that his daughter, like, I think she really likes Venus or and I think Serena, but I think he must have posted like Venus did something really nice for his daughter and um, she loves her. So 
that's really nice to see. Thank you, Gary. Yes, I play tennis just for fun now. Um, I live in the city and there are a few tennis courts that are like around me. So I play with actually my friend that was on my team in high school lives in the in Philly with me. And so we play pretty often. So it's super fun. And I actually don't know. So it's a holiday weekend here, obviously in the US. And um, I'm not sure I'll be around. Oh, nice, Vika. Down the line, backhand. Love 40 for Martic. Um, Oh, she's upset. It's like, I hate to see anyone losing. But I don't know. Oh my gosh. I am so not, I honestly have no idea. Actually, my first job was at a little tennis boutique in my town. And I, people would try to ask me about like what rack is. And I'd be like, you really have to wait until like the owner who was like a pro at one of the clubs comes in. I was like, I simply don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, so I'm sorry, but you can probably find if you're looking for a racket, um, online reviews and stuff like say your level and, uh, you know, just what level you are or visit a store. If there's tennis stores near you and someone will definitely help you. Oh, um, Vika just broke her. I feel bad, but not that bad. Where's our Vika button? Sorry, oh, as a record, she knows how to play. As a record, she's gonna make it her day. Some people were like mixed reviews on the Azarenka button, but. I like it. What do you think? Hello. Thank you for joining. I do. Um, thank you. I do have a Wilson as well. I don't know. Wilson. It's my same one I've had since I was like, 17 so I don't actually um know what the actual thing of it is but it is a Wilson and it has served me well for the past few years it was great as I was saying have a few stories saw a bunch of people and it is just I was saying if you have the opportunity opportunity to go to like any tennis tournament, any Grand Slam, if you enjoy watching tennis, like you absolutely have to because it's just so crazy, like how close you can get to the actual players. Like you see them on TV and then you literally see them in person. <laughs> and um, see the coaches, see everything. It is great. Great, great, great. It was great. I'm a little tired though. <laughs> I put my caffeine eye cream on today. Like literally, this eye cream has caffeine in it because I was like, oh my gosh, a little bit tired today, but it's all good. Well worth it, definitely. Ah, Marta chits into the net. Let's see. Vika, you are so kind and humble. What she is. Love her. And I kept thinking that, like, I don't know if her son is with her at the U.S. Open or not, but he hasn't been to the matches that I've seen the past few. But hopefully, like, could you imagine if she's in the final and she brings her son and then she wins? Like, that would just be so special. Would love that. And, yes, I do. I do kind of lean that way, like, you know. It's, it's a crazy situation, but it is just, you know, let's watch tennis for tennis and enjoy everything and just treat the individuals that we are playing against, everything, you know, with respect and just shake hands at the end. That's just 
what you do to be respectful. Yes, totally. Have you ever met um, or have you watched Bika Kanye for a while? Because I do think she's one of the best. And if you follow her on Instagram, she always um, posts like, okay, like some of, some people could be like, oh, like that's cheesy or corny or whatever. But she posts like inspirational quotes almost every single day. And I actually like really take them to heart. And I love that she posts them. So follow her on Instagram. And it just honestly, like it does like brighten my day when I see them. And everything is so true. It's just about like working hard, staying kind, following your, you know, goals and just, um, just growing. So love it. Thank you for joining. We have another Vika fan over here. Okay, so actually the sun is, um, the sun is off of the court, which is nice for the players and everyone, but those people on the side in the bleachers are like actually probably roasting. All right, we're at do speak, come on. The net got in the way with that one, I think. And Martich just slammed that down and put it away. There was nothing Vika could do. I had Martich. Eh. I mean, nothing against her, but I just, you know, want my girls to pull through here and not be broken. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, Sabika has her on the run. She's approaching. Slam it down. Yes. Back to Davis. Hello. Well, well, I'm saying welcome and thank you at the same time. Welcome and thank you for joining. What is my favorite food in Philadelphia, you mean? Um... There's a lot of good food. Um, I do, I literally do not know. I like all food, honestly. If you mean like Philly cheesesteak, like what it's like famous for, like pretzels, they're good too. Not my favorite favorite, but they're good. All right, Azarenka has her ad. Vika has her ad. Petra. She, that was a really good forehand line, I'm going to lie. Daria over here. Vika, let's do the bagel. Yeah, agree. Definitely. Did anyone catch um, the... Medvedev match yesterday it was was it after Serena yes it was after Serena so I had left at that point because I left like two sets into the Kyrgios match because I had to get back I literally didn't get back to like after 1 a.m and because I live like two and a half hours away from the open and so we couldn't stay and like I said I did not have a ticket to get into Arthur Ashe Stadium so I wouldn't have been able to watch it anyway um but I just came home and just <laughs> fell asleep. So I didn't even look at the score. But obviously he won because I had seen on Instagram that it's Medvedev and Kyrgios. I um, will not miss that. That is going to be wild. We go with the ad again. <laughs> Oh, Petra is sitting to the night. I'm sorry, bro. But I'm happy. All right, she leads to love. Oh. Sorry. She knows how to play as a 
serve. Oh, that actually was a really good serve. Vika, though, she's too good with that backhand. Who else thinks that Vika can pull can pull a bagel out of here? I think that'd just be great. And again, I would like to know who does her braids. She always has like the best hairstyles keeps everything out of her face and it looks cute too oh come on Mika. slam oh mm, overhead let's see it might be out for martich yikes that was a good point hello mike yes i am and i watched her in person yesterday doubles she lost but it was amazing to just be there in person um but yes I'm not leaving my girl hanging I am here for her and hopefully I mean I didn't really bring her good luck yesterday but maybe today <laughs> we will are you are you hoping for a Vika win Mike oh and then also during her because she was playing with um Thanasi Kokonakis, who was like Kyrios's best friend. At one point, Kyrios was just, I was on like the bleachers and there were a few, probably like two or three rows of bleachers on the other side of the court where also it's like where people can walk across. And at one point, this woman next to my mom, like taps my mom and goes, is that Nick Kyrios over there? He was just standing in the middle of a crowd, but he's so tall that like, once you, I did look over, I was like, oh my God, that is just wearing like a black t-shirt. I put on my Instagram. Um, and he was just, uh, he was just standing there like watching Thanasi and no one really seemed to recognize him. I think towards the end, someone maybe tapped him and had him sign a hat or something. And then shortly after that, I guess he had to go warm up. Um, he like left with the security person but it was kind of cool he was just sitting there and like seemed to be behind the scenes in the back and no one really seemed to recognize him so it was really cool and it was there he was nice supporting his friend and then Sanasi was in his box I saw from a far distance because I was like literally I was in the stadium I probably was like up there <laughs> yesterday watching Curios at the end um but I did see Sanasi in the box and they showed him on the jump screen and everything. All right, Azarenka leads 40-30 and Martich is on her second serve. Let's go. OMG, she just double faulted. I hate to see when players double fault it because it's just, it, I just don't like it. It's just, I feel bad for them, but but we have a break. I think this could be quicker than I even realized today, which would be nice. Who's on after them, I wonder, in, in, on Armstrong? Though I don't think that... Um, Oh, okay. So Tiafo and Diego Schwartzman are going to be playing. Oh, I'd like to see that one too after them. But they're not before two, I think. Oh, well, it's already three. Where did this day go? So they're probably warming up. And then one thing I did not do yesterday, which I wish I would have, was take advantage of watching the players practice because they do have on some of the screens, you can see, the player practice schedule and you can go to the practice courts and just see them warming up. So <laughs> it was more <laughs> okay. On the screen is this dad with three little boys <laughs> and he's like giving them food or whatever. They do not know that they're on the Jumbotron and then everyone's like tapping them and they look over. <laughs> 
Jessica, this camera guy is watching everyone come down with food. <laughs> I will say the food is really good there, except it will cost you an actual arm and a leg. Like, I wanted a snack because I was, like, dying. And a cookie was $9. I was like, um, okay. But, but all the food actually is really good. And the drinks are great, too. All right, Vika, serving, love 15. I like the Nike set that she's wearing today, but I did see um, the players before Azarenka was um, Anastasia Potapova, and she was also wearing Nike, and I liked what she had on because it was like that uh, shirt that Vika's wearing right now, but the pink was in the front, and then the mint, I think that's mint green, is on the side, and the pink skirt, so it looked like a dress. And I have to say that's my favorite like rendition of the Nike um, apparel this U.S. Open. Did you just ace her? Yes, that was an ace. Heck yes. She might have aced like once or twice in doubles. Love that. It's 15.30. All right, get another ace and then wow, we get another ace. Nice return by Martic. Down the line, Vika gets it. Martic approaches, puts it away. Ooh, Vika has her again. That looks like it's in. She loves it. All right, Vika. Let's do this. And out. Yes. 30 all. That was a good point. I swear to God, they're showing someone that's sleeping right now. In the stands. Like, she literally is going like this. Girl, if you have tickets right now, go get a love out the coffee. Please. Or give me your ticket. Okay, 30 all. Also, do you guys think if Rafa makes it to the final that his family will fly in? Because I don't think that anyone's there right now because I think that his wife might have had some, some complications or something in her pregnancy and might have had to undergo a procedure or something I think is what came out or what happened so i'm assuming that the family is back there with her um because i didn't see anyone in his box but i wonder if they will fly out obviously not i would assume his wife is gonna stay um and won't be traveling at this time but what do you guys think all right nice vika 40 30. Oh, i just really want this for her Way too good. Way too good. All right. 40 30. Let's do it again. Great serve. Nice return. Come on, Pika. Ooh, out by Martich. That was close, though. All right, another game for Azarenka. Let's keep this momentum up. Sorry. Has a record, she knows how to play. Has a record, she's gonna make it her day. All right, Mark.
Marta serving, see if she can get herself in on the scoreboard. Martich lead the match. Let's see. We'll see how she does. I would like her to get maybe one game on the scoreboard just because I like to see you know, how I would feel bad. She did it sometimes. So I'll, I'll have a breadstick, not a bagel. I'd be okay with that. Um, but I still want Pika to win. Silva. What do you mean by this? International Tennis Federation level? In what way? But thank you for joining. It would be really nice, I think, to see Vika win a U.S. Open because she has been in the finals three times. And she hasn't won a Grand Slam since 2013. I think she can do it. Ah, Petra hits it into the net again. She's had, okay. Martich 16 on forced errors as rank of 10. Okay, it honestly seems like more, like she's had more. Maybe it's just a set actually. Oh no, this is the match. But as rank was 17 winners, I mean, almost double. Martich. I'm going to get the backhand off, oh, hits the middle of the net, and just goes down. Okay. Dirty all, let's see. I wonder who Martich is wearing. I don't recognize that logo on her dress. Petra, let's find out. I don't know. I don't know who she wears, but it's interesting. I mean, it's a little just black and white, which is a classic look, but I don't recognize it. I think Marcia doesn't have the mental. Well, yes, it does seem like she might be. Um, this is honestly my first time watching her play. I watched the highlights of her match against Bedosa. I was actually kind of impressed, but um, she does seem to be a little frustrated with herself now, which I mean, she's probably like a hundred times more mentally like <laughs> strong than I am. And I'm over here like saying that, but but I don't know her that well. Yes, I would just love, 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 love that. If she would win. Oh, so you're Belarusian, okay. Do you live in the US? Or are you over in Belarus? Or not even the US, anywhere else? <laughs> I just think the US because I'm here. Okay, is Ranka approaching? I think that was out. No. Wait, also, I saw something on the US Open or USTA Instagram that um, Paul and Rude played each other yesterday. So the scoreboard or yesterday, the day before, the scoreboard was like T, Paul, C, Rude. And you know the actor, Paul Rudd. So they like put that in and um, it was like Paul Rudd. I don't know. It was funny to me. Okay, Daria. Yes, I'm from Minnesota. Well, okay. So you definitely want Vika to win. So what do you think of um, if she goes, if she meets... Sabalenka, who do you think you would root for um, if they meet up in a round or two? Just wondering. 
I feel like as a ranking because she's just older. I usually like to root for someone if I don't have some sort of allegiance to them, the person that's older, because I'm like, the young person can just do it next year. <laughs> they can get it next year, but the older person, not that she's old, I mean, she's 33, but I mean, like old in that, like in the life of tennis is more towards, you know. Marjic has the ad here, which is okay. Like I wanted her to get one game. One game only in this set. But Vika looks solid. So I'm not too worried. Knock on wood. Rock it. Vika brings it back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. So it does not seem. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that little kid, if you're watching it, the little boy with like the neon Nike wrap and the wristbands, they, him and his mom were there yesterday when she was playing and they had the guest, like player guest things on. And he was so cute. He's like, come on, Vika. Come on, Tenasi. I don't know. I must be like nine or ten or something. And it was cute. And so he's there again in her box. So I actually wonder like what their relation is. But um, he was super cute. And he just held up a sign. It's like, go Vika. Actually, said vamos, Vika. Is that? <laughs> Isn't that Spanish? <laughs> and then it had her face on the other side. But he was so cute, super cute. Ooh, Vika just whipped that boy. That was a nice slice. I had a lot of spin from Martich. Back to Deuce. Let's go, Vika. Did I also, um, just because I was sitting in the other city, ooh, very nice down the line, right on the line for Vika. The, um, where Serena was at like eight deuces and the game was like that game alone was like 15 or 20 minutes long. And like I said, in the stadium that I was in or the court that I was in, Arthur Ashe is like right there. You just hear the roar from the crowds every time. Like I would look, I would hear the scream and then I would look and be like, Oh, Serena just scored. But that one um, game apparently went to deuce like eight times. And I think she ended up winning it, that particular game. All right, Vika with the forehand and Martic backhand, but way out. Vika breaks again. Yes. Sorry. She knows how to play As a record She's gonna make it her day Now I'm getting excited Serving for the win I hope Hello Neil Yes It is like I said this before, like my hierarchy of who I root for when I play watching this, like I have my favorite favorites and then I have like my second tier of favorites. And then if I'm watching players that I don't have like any like connection with or anything, also like things like if they're the same age as me, then I root for them. If they, and then Maxine Cressy actually has my birthday. And so I'm a, just an automatic fan. Like if we have the same birthday, we are connected forever. So I'm an ally to that. And then if I don't, if they don't met, meet like any of those, then I look at the age and I'm always just like, okay, the younger person can do it next year. Like I want to see the older or, you know, towards the end stage of an athletic like life and career 
just do the best they can now. So yes, it, it does usually swing that way in the crowd. And so I definitely like that. Yes, Martich. She is struggling a little bit. I mean, she is a solid player, but it's just coming down to these few points. Okay, Darius, so. Okay, so I asked, yeah, who you would, if Vika and Aria, Arina, I always call her just Sabalenka. I don't actually know if I've ever said her first name. If they meet in a few rounds, who would you vote for? Vote. Root. Sorry. Okay. Very interesting. March of Tours A6. Does she in her clothes too? Because I didn't recognize that. But um, interesting. Thank you for looking that up, Mike. Oh, no. She hits that way out, Martich. Okay, now that Serena has gone, who's the most popular U.S. player? Hmm. Women's? Uh, yeah, I think I would say Coco, actually. Um, it's kind of a shame because I was just talking with my mom and we were like, where has Madison Keys and like Sloane Stevens gone? I feel like they both um, are have had a few years of like struggling um, in tennis. And they're both, I believe they're both... Um, back and everything but I definitely think that Coco is like the breakout star and she also was on Ash yesterday and the crowds like you could hear them roaring for her so I guess I would say Coco yeah and then then I'm thinking like I think John Isner is a pretty big favorite he's also a little bit older too so yes oh my god is it love 40 or did she just win oh my god I'm talking about that, and, and Vika just won. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. I'm talking about everyone else, and I didn't even see that. Okay, yay. She's so, oh, my God, her team is so happy. I'm so happy. Of course, Martich, okay, she can come back. She can. Um, she can. She can come back next year. I think she's a great player, and she's pretty solid, but Vika, all right. One day at a time, she is one match closer. I'm so happy. Hello, Todd. Oh my gosh, no worries. Um, there's a lot of matches going on right now, so all good. I'm not sure if I'm doing any more matches today. I was saying it's a holiday weekend, so I might be out for the rest of the day or tomorrow, but I'm not sure all because she's with the kids signing their tennis balls and their hats. Um Super, super happy with this outcome. And now everyone, there are a bunch of other matches on right now. A game to love that you should check out. I think myself, I'm going to tune into Chapo's, Chapo and Rublev, Rublev's uh, match. And then I do want to see um, Tiafo. Francis Tiafo is on. Um, he's on after this. Who was he playing? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just forgot. Like I said, my memory is actually a concern to me. I'm like, we'll say something. Yes, 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 yes. Neil says Coco is a new young thing, a bit like Emma Raducanu in the UK. Yes, I feel like Emma just like exploded in the media. And I don't know for good, you know, what the impact of that is. But I feel like it can add some pressure. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how Coco goes. But she is, I think she's on the right track. Yes, I am. I am putting every fiber of my energy into her winning the US Open. Like, let's go. Oh, yes. And Elise Cornette and Danielle Collins are on later, too. So, yes, we have a bunch of great matches ahead of us. And actually right now. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining everyone. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And I will definitely um, see you at some point. I'm not sure when my next <laughs> going to on stream of Shadow Rule and ask him how he's maybe I will. We'll see. <laughs>
that would have been nice if he's and Sloan Stevens final because um, they're both just great players. And I think they're actually great friends too. So I do want to see them um, a little bit, a little bit, um, go a little bit further. But again, thank you everyone for joining and watching. And yes, go check out another match right now. And I will probably see you at some point later this weekend or next week. Bye everyone. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.